No matter how hard A24 tries to pass this up as a fictional narrative, legend says, my friends, it was the collective subconscious of humanity that first brought Nicolas Cage to life. So technically speaking, this is his origin story. But my name is Ren, and this is my review of Dream Scenario. Welcome back, movie fans. Thank you for joining me to discuss the latest from A24, a film company that for some means quality and prestige, for others means highbrow pretentiousness. In Dream Scenario, it means a hapless family man's life is suddenly turned upside down when he becomes an overnight celebrity after millions of strangers suddenly start seeing him in their dreams. But when his nighttime appearances take a nightmarish turn, Paul is forced to navigate his newfound stardom. And this is just an immensely fun premise quirkly catered to Nicolas Cage and the distinct caginess that he brings to all of his character work and as this film takes certain tonal shifts and certain story directions he sells you on it all it's his mere presence in these auteur driven projects that are so eye-catching and all feared like they could only be played by him. But beyond Cage himself, this ingenious premise proves itself to be much more than just a punchline. As the film twists and turns into a fiendishly nuanced and hilarious social commentary on cancel culture, and the fame goes up to Paul's head and he perceives it as this shortcut to the success he feels he has been constantly robbed of through his life, but also brings unintended consequences as these dreams he has no power over begin to turn into the nightmares. And where at one point he was just someone in random dreams walking by or saying hello to people, he is now murdering them. And so you see the effect of that, having his life fall apart for not really doing anything to begin with. He's a reserved man. He's a man who doesn't like the fame, the spotlight. He wants to sell his book. He has had troubles through his life, but has lived very happily with his wife and children in this very modest life as just being a professor. But when all his students and all friends of his friends, people that never saw him before, begin to recognize him and be afraid of him, you see the effect that has on his social life, even as something that he never asked for. Using this fantastical and admittedly ridiculous guise to offer an examination on cancel culture proves more than skillful. The film's tackling on themes of social media influence and mob mentality is all at once insightful, clever, and frightening, conveyed by blending anxiety-ridden horror and bleak comedy, all to unnerving and wickedly funny results, plus an earnest sense of heartbreak for this underachieving man Cage plays with such amusing awkwardness and pitiful grace. The film does such a great job of seeing just how innocent a life, such an underachieving life, he leads, peaceful, living with his wife and daughters. He even questions the fact at first that he's not doing anything in their dreams. He begins to question if that's just what he's doing in his life. And you see him being undermined constantly, even before the dreams turn into nightmares. And once the film takes that turn and starts being more horrifying, just seeing his life crumble apart, that's when it feels like the joke or the punchline run its course real dry. Because to speak of my issues with dream scenario, it's very tricky to speak about them without spoiling the film. So, what I can say is that in keeping up with the A24 brand, you're either going to love or you're going to hate Dream Scenario. I feel that first half, when their dreams are coming by, when he starts to get fame, 
everything is so punchy, the dialogue is witty, the character dynamics are interesting, and it's in the first half of the film before things really take a turn to the dark as everyone's just trying to understand how this is even happening and Cage tries to be a go-getter and get an agency to publish his book who want to use him as like a meme type of situation. It's a film that's very in tune with the culture and it feels like that first half is really when it has all its best zingers, all its best puns, the best gags, the best situations are all there. But into the third act, it takes this wild turn to expand on the sort of mythology that they establish early on in the film. And you get some wild cameos, but yet again proves how much of a parallel, a metaphor all this is for the social media culture. Stuff I didn't expect, but it kind of distracted a little bit. I took a little bit out of focus as everything was converging and we should have kept a focus on Nicolas Cage's Paul. And once he begins falling apart, it's just bleak. And you start building this tension. You start building the intensity of the story. And it offers no release. And it does such a great job in making you like this man and how he is and what he does. And there's an overwhelming sense of defeat through this film. You have a man who is completely innocent and it's using this life, this specific situation as a metaphor to what we see in, in real life. But then it offers no reward to this man who has been destroyed. Everything that he had, everyone that he had completely taken away while he did nothing. And that's just not a story I see myself going back to repeatedly. I enjoy the first half of this film much more than the second. And it's so clear what the filmmakers are trying to say with this story, but it's just something that doesn't feel satisfying whatsoever. I think it requires maybe a second viewing, knowing what's coming, but while it has spectacular final moment, it just doesn't feel all that rewarding to go on this journey only to see someone you like get completely obliterated by the world after doing nothing to deserve it. It's a film where you see a good person being treated like the most horrible human being on the planet. I have very complicated thoughts on Dream Scenario. So as I gather my final thoughts on it, it's time for you to start the conversation in the comments below. Share your thoughts on Dream Scenario if you've seen it, if you're excited, what is your favorite Nick Cage performance? And if you're enjoying this review, want to see more like it, just want to talk more movies and TV, this is the place to be. Consider clicking that subscribe button and you won't miss any future conversations on your favorite movies and TV. You'll either love or hate Dream Scenario. For all the cleverness and poignancy of its incredibly well-balanced narrative, an overwhelming sense of defeat overtakes the experience of one pitiful life innocently twist itself into a nightmare, to an ending that feels clear but not at all satisfying. I'm giving Dream Scenario a B. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to start a conversation about Dream Scenario in the comments below. Let me know what is the weirdest dream you've ever had with an actor or celebrity that you like. Anything and everything down there. Big shout out to my channel members for always supporting the channel. And I'll be back very soon with more reviews. So until the next one, love each other and love the movies.